Good morning, my dear students, class 6, myself, Lauren Smith, SST teacher of Vijayapati Public School. My dear students, today I will teach you in geography the globe, latitudes, and longitudes. Dear students, as we know, the Earth is the third planet in solar system. Earth is a very fascinating place. The more we learn about it, there is more to discover. The Earth has seen in the photographs taken from the satellites. It shows to be the spherical in shape. It resembles an orange for a ball, but slightly flattened for the poles. Now, let us try to understand what is a globe. What is a globe? To understand the earth better, we need a true representation of it. A globe fulfills this condition as it is a spherical representation of the earth. The globe is of different size, big size, which is cannot carry around easily. The small size, which is also known as pocket dictionary, but not very informative. Globe, like violons which can be inflated and easily carried around. Dear students, while studying the globe, we will come to know about the axis on which the globe rests. We can spin the globe in west east direction as the earth rotates on its axis. The axis on which the globe rests is slightly tilted because the axis on which the earth rotates is also tilted, not vertical. It is inclined at an angle of 66 or 1 by 2 degrees. Two other points, the North Pole and the South Pole. The South Pole points toward the Pole Star while the opposite pole is South Pole. To make the study, study of Earth easier, there are some imaginary lines on the surface of the globe which form a pattern called grid. It's called grid. On the globe, we see some horizontally circulars between the two poles. They are called the parallels of latitudes. 
They run parallel to Twitter and run from west to east direction. They are another set of imaginary lines drawn vertically between the two poles. They are called meridians. If the meridians are equal in length and each the meridians divide the whole earth into two equal parts. The equator which divides the whole earth into two equal halves is the greatest circular on the surface of the globe. It divides the whole earth into two equal parts. North of the equator is called the Northern Hemisphere and the south of or the southern part of the equator is known as Southern Hemisphere. Beside the equator, there are six more important, yeah, or other important latitudes. They are Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle, Antarctic Circle, the North Pole and the South Pole. They are influenced by natural and physical laws. Therefore, these latitudes are important. First, let us see about the equator. It is the greatest circle in the globe which divides the whole earth into two equal parts and the all other circles are small ones. Tropic of Cancer that is 23 or 1 by 2 degree north latitude and Tropic of Capricorn that is 23 all 1 by 2 degree south latitudes. These are the two points up to which the direct rays of sun travel. Beyond these two points of the, these two latitudes, sun never appears directly overhead. Now let us see Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle. These are the two points where the sun does not set for a day and does not rise for a day. Now let us see North Pole and South Pole. The North Pole measures 90 degrees and South Pole 2 measures 90 degrees. These are the two points Now let us see the time zones of the earth. What does it mean? It means the temperature of and on the surface of earth are not equally distributed on all the places. And the amount received, and the amount of heat received from the sun, the earth is divided into three distinct heat zones. They are torrid zones or tropical zones. Second one, temperate zones or moderate zones. 
and third one Bridget Jones or Cole John. Now let us see the first John that is Torrid John. As the name suggests, it is a hot John. It lies between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. It is the hottest place or hottest zone on the earth as it receives more or less direct rays of sun all through the year. The second one is a temperate zone. There are two temperate zones. The north temperate zone and the south temperate zone. North temperate zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle. And the south temperate zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer, Capricorn and Antarctic Circle. Since these zones receive slanting sun rays, these zones are neither too hot nor too cold. Plus, the frigid zone or the cold zone, these are also two, there are also two frigid zones. The north frigid zone lies between Arctic Circle and the North Pole and the South Pole Zone lies between Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. These two regions receive the sun rays least. So these two zones are the coldest zones of the world. Antarctica come under this job. So my dear students, what I have told you today, you must revise it and come for the class next day. Thank you. Have a nice day.